my name is Kanari Mugisha. I'm from Uganda. Okay, can you tell us the reason why you're here? Okay, why I'm here is um, uh, I was working with a logistics company in Uganda called uh, Unifreight. Unifreight. So uh, when I was working, there are two gentlemen who approached me because they wanted me to ship something for them to Dubai, which was gold. So this gold, they wanted me to give them the papers to ship. Can you speak louder, please? Yes, they wanted me to give them papers to ship. So uh, what I did was um, I gave them the papers, but uh, they, their client uh, didn't pay, didn't pay them the money. So they, uh, they were two gentlemen, one was called Frank, another one was called Sam. So uh, eventually what uh, happened was uh, that gentleman who they wanted to ship uh, gold to was uh, dealing in Kenya, Uganda and DRC. So they suggested that uh, what uh, we do, uh, since they knew I knew how to do the clearance and shipping and ETC, that we put uh, a situation where now the consignment is from Rwanda. So they uh, put me there to be the person to be from Rwanda. So eventually the client would ask, uh, that, that person would ask uh, the proof that I'm Rwandese. And that uh, one gentleman called Frank introduced me to someone who was making the papers for him. So he created a photoshopped ID uh, in my names as well for Rwanda. So that ID was sent to the, to the client, to the client who they wanted to ship. That to. was fake ID. Yes. Okay. Then uh, the client asked again if uh, uh, the company. So he also wanted the proof of the company. So we also created uh, a certificate of registration for that company uh, from Rwanda. But remember, everything was done in Kampala. Yeah, so it was just internet based. So Google, then you edit and then you send. So I sent the company, which was uh, Kinola. It was just uh, from internet, uh, Googled and then put there. So then we sent to the client and then that's how the, the client would do work with us to ship the gold to him to Dubai. So eventually he sent someone who he knew that uh, he was working with for over three years, they knew each other. Uh, that gentleman was called Carson. So Carson would come in as uh, in between uh, the other two gentlemen and me, and then uh, him, and uh, him, him was from the client side. So he came to verify if the company existed. So when he came, the gentleman uh, sat him, they told him this is a deal. Uh, if, uh, if you approve that things they are telling you are there, then the, the other person would give us money. So that's what Carson also did. He accepted to, to if, if they, they give us the money, then we would share. So me, I was put there as a person from Rwanda. Yeah. So why did they put you as the person from Rwanda? Because that man has been dealing in other countries, so they thought create, by creating something new, a new country, then he would be convinced more. So the deal was shipping the gold? Yes. So where did you get the gold from? No, it wasn't there. There was no gold. So it was a fake deal? Yeah. So why did you accept to do this? Because of problems for money. They promised you how much? I said uh, whatever I could get, I would get a uh, 30%. 30%. And the, deal, the whole deal was uh, for how much? Um, not sure, because some money he would send to Castle to, to, to pay. For me, what he sent to me, equivalent was uh, uh, 30,000. Equivalent. 30,000 uh, Ugandan shillings? No, U US dollars. US dollars. In three times. Okay. Uh, which currency? US dollars. US dollars. Okay. And uh, how did they caught you? Uh, because he said he sent uh, he sent Carson to pick the money in because uh, he was supposed to, to he was supposed to pay some other money which was uh, twelve thousand. So they sent Carson to pick the money. I think 
Carson's instinct told him not to come to Rwanda. So Carson told me, he sent me to come. In, in Rwanda? Yeah, to come and pick it like on his behalf. Yeah. yeah. So when I came, uh, that's how I was called. So did you manage to cross the border? Yeah, I was using a plane. I used the plane. Hey, you was using the plane. So uh, you managed to, uh, to buy the ticket and everything and you came to Kigali? Yeah, whenever those, they would contribute for, for my ticket and, and it is those how, other... How many times have you come to Rwanda? Three. Three times? Yeah. How much money have you paid from the, from the bank of the ticket? 30,000. 30,000? In, in, in all the three times. Okay. Uh, what message did you, uh, do you have to give people according to all, the whole situation? Life of Graham doesn't pay. My name is Harish and I am from Dubai. Uh, we have a company, gold company in Dubai. It's in the name of Gorang Metal Trading. The owner is a Swedish nationality. So this guy got in touch with the owner and he called him that we have gold and he had sent all the videos that we have so many gold in Rwanda. So if you are paying and helping us out with the airport tax and duty, we will ship this gold and I will also come myself to Dubai and we will grow more business. So on trust basis, uh, Mr. Gorang sent him money to Rwanda and he sent us all documents regarding uh, revenue authority of Rwanda, then ICGLR and all paid documents in the bank and all. So after paying the money also the gold never came to Dubai. So then Mr. Gorang requested me to come down to Rwanda and just check, cross check. So when I came to Rwanda, I checked with the authorities, we found all the documents were forged and fake. So we are a bit a set taken back because we were supposed to establish our firm in Uganda and we were supposed to invest millions of money here. So then I met the director Mr. Enoch and he helped us out and we were able to catch this guy and he's in front of you right now. Was it your first time to deal with them? Yeah, yeah. At campus? Yeah. So uh, the deal was... Uh... Mr. Gorang is the owner, okay. so he has dealt with him. So he has sent all the videos, all the documents, and which we have shared with the authorities over here. So it's on trust, always we, we think for business. So we did a trial for 7 kg first, but in this 7 kg only they lied to us. And then he also gave an message to him that he when he was taking taking the money he asked why you have two passport like uganda passport and rwanda as well so he says i work on the intelligence so i shuffle in both the countries so you don't worry i am very well connected and this gold will surely come to dubai so are you from dubai yeah how i'm from india but i have we have a business in dubai i'm a resident there so how did you come to rwanda i come to rwanda by air <laughs> from dubai <laughs> No. How much? How much money had had had, had they? Had that Mr. Uh, Mr. Gorang has given him altogether more than hundred thousand dollars. Oh. It's like hundred and thirty thousand dollars for paying the airport tax, duty, ICGLR, and for the United Nations certificate that the gold is clear, legitimate. There, uh, the means the there is no fishy in this gold. So what, what is your expectation now? At this My condition? expectation now is uh, we are. Actually, we are very much fear to invest money right now because what has happened with us in Rwanda. But since the authorities have supported us all out of the way, and I've seen like uh, Rwanda is more safer than any other part of Africa, what I've seen. Uyu mugabo maze kwerekana yitwa Mugisha Konar afite ubwene gihugu bwa Uganda aho yafashwe mu bikorwa byo gushaka kwihesha ikintu cyundi yakoreshejwe uburiganya tukaba twaramufashe tariki ebyiri sikwa gatandatu akurikiranweho ibyaha bine kwihesha ikintu cyundi yakoreshejwe uburiganya gukoresha inyandiko byimbano gushyiraho umutwe wabagizi banabi cyangwa kujyamo kwitira umwirondoro utari uyu mugabo nkuko mubona yagiye babwira afite nabandi abandi babiri bakoranye bagishakishwa aho we yise umunyarwanda kugira ngo babashe kwiba amafaranga y'umugabo witwa Goran eh ya Goran Metro Trading 
Kavari Company, the truth of the Mabiaga Chief. Avant Abu 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 Yafashwe aho yaraje mu Rwanda inshuro zirenze inshuro ya gatatu aho yaraje mu Rwanda gutwara amafaranga aho babeshyaga nyiriya company yitwa Goran Metal Trading ko bakorera mu Rwanda akajya yohereza amafaranga ngo ya clearing eh akaba hari company bakoranaga forex bureau ya hano mu Rwanda yabwiraga ati mwishyure uwo mu clear wanje undi agafata Rwanda akava Uganda akaza gafata amafaranga agasubiramo eh bigaragara ko iki nicyaha bakoze cyambukiranya n'imipaka kuko ibikorwa bimwe byakorera Uganda ibindi bikorerwa hano mu Rwanda we rero yafatwa hano mu Rwanda akaba giye gukurikiranwa n'inkiko z'u Rwanda kuri ibyo byaha bine nababwiye amategeko icyo bivugaho nuko aramutse byamijwe n'urukiko ni byaha bine igihano gito kirimo ni imyaka ibiri igihano kinini kirimo ni imyaka 10 ibyo byose hakiyongeraho namande ari hagati ya miliyoni 3 na miliyoni 10 bitewe n'icyaha urukiko ruzamushinja kwa mufashe mu kazi kati ka buri munsi ko kurwanya ibyaha aho ikirego cyari cyatanzwe turakurikirana hanyuma za gufatwa ari abanyarwanda bafatanye icyaha kugaragara mu Rwanda niba bitagaragara gana n'abitubira abanyuma akagira no gutuma mu genera abanyarwanda kunyara ibi ni ibyaha nubundi byo kwihesha ikintu cyundi hakoreshejwe uburiganya aho iteka usanga gihura nabantu bakoresha inyandiko mpimbano aho ndetse usanga adakora wenyine ari association y'abantu babagize banabi aho baba bifatanyije umwe akora akazi kamwe ndakande ngira ngo subwa mbere tubereka abantu bakurikiranwe icyaha cyo kwinjira cyangwa gukora umutwe wabagize banabi so ubutumwa dutanga nuko mu byukuri hagomba kubaho gushishoza kuko urebye imikoranire y'aba bantu bamubwiraga ko bafite zahabu mu byukuri yo zahabu ntayo yari yarigeze abamwereka ibyo izo ibyo bakoze byose babikoze mu buryo bwa email mu buryo bwitumanaho aho umwe yoherezaga amafaranga undi akagenda akayafata bari batarabona mu byukuri no kugira amakenga no kubwira nabandi ukore business n'umuntu wamaze kumenya ibye ndetse wamaze gusuzuma neza wamaze kumenya kuko umuntu kwiyita ngira ngo mu byango mwakoresheje muraza kwibona umuntu kwita amazina ya ngaya agakora ID za fake ni ndanga mu za fake cyangwa passport za fake akita kanaka akabikohereza na ugahita umwizera navuga ko harimo gukenga gukenga ari abanyarwanda bafatanyije iki cyaha ibyo biracyari muri investigation ntabwo kabiri zirindwe ngo ubutabire cyo kuvugaho uko ni investigation izaza Oya ntabwo abantu bakwiriye kugira kuko dufite inzego 
ni cyangombwa kitatuma bagira ubwoba nuko hari inzego nk'izingiza abantu nk'abanga bagafatwa inzego za leta zirakora neza ni inzego zishoboye zishobora kugenza ibyaha zikadetekta naho biri ndetse ni zikanakumira n'ibyari bigiye gukora nta mpungengero za kugombye kubaho kuko urwanda ni igihugu cyobowe neza gifite inzego zikora neza ari zo umutekano n'izindi zose hari mu bari uzwe mu mafaranga bari bamuze kumutwara eh ni ibihumbi 116 by'amadorari 